time to do some cleaning. So for the past couple of months, I've been doing some demolition in the house. Had to redo the floor in the kitchen and take out the cabinets and cutting sheetrock wood and all that stuff. And when you're doing that type of stuff in your house, you know, air gets circulated and it just gets all over the place. Meet my main rig. And as you can see, it's not terrible, but you know, it's still concerning. But I got a lot of that dust over here from all the construction, deconstruction. So she's a little bit dirty. The bedroom rig. Yeah, she also caught a bit of that dust. And surprisingly, the garage one, my little test bench, clean as a whistle. And during that time with the whole construction, deconstruction thing going on in my house, my garage has kind of been neglected. I mean, I just got boxes and junk. It's actually not bad, but still not ideal. Got to get rid of all this junk all over over here, organized. Kind of the same thing up there and even up here, just looking around yeah it's a little chaotic so this video i'm going to try to clean up the garage but mostly focus on um the computers so it's been a while i think it's been about three months and by the time this video comes out it should be putting us in the end of march or april and my computers have been neglected between the cleaning i'm behind on updates also realized i made a mistake when i built this one so i need to get these things updated because this one's having some funky issues which uh the bios is supposed to fix that need to clean it up this one got to do a quick upgrade and swap on it and i think this one i just got to get this thing set up this is my uh bench where i kind of test graphics cards and other stuff on that so let's start with the main rig first see we'll get you some light in here i mean it's not terrible considering so with this one the first thing i'm actually going to go ahead and do is um i got to do a bios update on that one got to go to the asus website get that knock that out i got some weird glitches going on and i read that the bios update could fix it so this is the x570 crosshair 8 is it a hero yeah it's the hero 8 on that so we'll get the bios for that flash the bios on this and then i'm just going to do a real quick cleaning on it as i got something else i'm gonna be doing with this so we're on the whole Asus's website. It's the ROG Crosshair 8 Hero. At least that's what it says on the computer right there. Let's download it. Should take a few seconds. We'll do the whole BIOS renamer so it can make it easier. We'll do that. Let's get out of here, reboot the computer. At least knock this out real quick and then I'll talk about the next project. Well, the next plan for this computer. So we're in the BIOS. Remember, you gotta hit that DEL button 4,672 times. If you hit it 4,671 times, it's definitely not gonna work. And if you hit it one more than that, 73, you're probably gonna have problems. So 4,672. So let's go to the tools, our flash utility, and we have 4201, this is 4202. So this should fix, well, not fix, but this should work. And it's mostly compatibility. I think uh, uh, it's a memory issue. Well, this is not working. All right, so I downloaded the wrong BIOS. We'll be right back. Round two, let's go to the Easy Flash Utility. Let's hit this one, it's the Wi-Fi version. Okay, do I wanna read this file? Yes, and let's do it. This is the most nerve wracking, anxious, exhilarating, crazy part of working on computers is this BIOS stuff. Number one, if you lose your power, yeah, bricked it. If you don't have a good BIOS flashback, you're gonna have a problem, have to do the whole RMA thing. Um, for the most part, I only update the BIOS when I have an issue, which I'm having an issue now. A lot of the issue I'm having is just a bunch of glitches, a couple of dips in my FPSs, but um, reading on this new update, it's supposed to fix some of the memory timings and a whole bunch of other stuff that makes no sense to me, but I'm gonna give it a shot and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Temperatures are fine. so. My advice, if you're going to do this, make sure you have that whole backup USPS FedEx thing that kind of retains your electricity. That's kind of good to have. If you don't have that, then, well, you know, gamble at your own risk. Don't do it during the rain or a thunderstorm. And make sure your electrical stuff is working good. So let's finish this, and then um, we'll clean this computer up a little bit. So we're all back up and running. Everything's running good. I'll do a follow-up video and just kind of let you know if I'm still having some of the glitches and I'll maybe do something more in depth to kind of explain what was actually going on. But for the most part, everything seems to be working good on that. Now we've got to kind of clean this dusty girl off. So the plan for this one is actually have the height Y40 case and I'll be doing a separate video. I'm actually gonna be swapping this and upgrading it to, or downgrading it just depending on the thermals, to the height Y40. So I'm not gonna be doing this 
thorough cleaning as I am right now. I'm just going to kind of dust everything off. But in a separate video, I'll be thoroughly cleaning my parts, swapping them over. I think I'm upgrading the power supply. I was going to go to a newer platform for this. Well, the Ryzen 7950X or X3D, but my 5950X works fantastic. It gets the job done, so I think I'll hold on to it for another year before I decide to do an upgrade. But until then, let's get this thing clean. And in another video, look out for that. You'll see us with a new case. So the bedroom PC. So pretty much the story behind this one, and if you've been watching the uh, channel, I built this because kind of pretty much my wife built uh, kicked me out of the living room. So her and the kiddos, they love watching TV, cartoons, all that good stuff, their shows. Nice TV in there. And my main rig is in the living room. So with that being said, she was like, you got to go, you got to share. And then when I got kicked out of there, I have nowhere to edit or even do my whole computer gaming. So I built this one and um, it's kind of a part-time computer, I would say, because, you know, I use it part of the time, not all the time, but it's actually been really good to me. So it's a Fractal Node 202, did some whole mod action going on over here, cut this, paid like $20 for this, really helped with the temperatures for this RTX 3080 Founders Edition. Did the whole blue action on that, kind of like it, the misses like it, that's all that matters. And for the specs, Ryzen 7 5700, courtesy of uh, Silver Knights PC, Fayetteville, North Carolina. It's the RTX 3080. This 3080 was on the marketplace for 500. I countered with the guy 300. Two weeks went by, he reached out to me. He says, will you still take the 300? I was like, absolutely. So all I had to do was fresh thermal pads, thermal paste, and this thing runs fantastic. 750 watt SFX power supply. And this is an Asus board. I originally had a gigabyte one, but that fried on me. But two things that I ran into this when I built it, and well, now I'm paying for it. So if you're familiar with the Fractal Node 202 case, one thing you'll know is that you have to take everything apart just to do anything. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So a uh, mistake that I made that I didn't really realize was that the memory that I put in here is only DDR4-2133 speeds, and it is definitely showing its lack of fastness, if that's even the word, and the whole video editing and gaming, losing some performance. So I put this memory in there because with these low profile coolers, they kind of, li you're kind of limited to the memory height that you can use. So didn't realize that, should've just went and bought memory. So first thing we're gonna do is popping this pick this up it was actually on sale on best buy for like 70 bucks not a bad deal ddr4 3600 32 gigs and that should definitely solve some of the issues that i'm having when i'm editing or even playing some of the games now the next issue to address is my cooler situation so i've probably changed this cooler way too many times more so than what it's worth but this is the id cooling it's the ls160 evo gtx nissan Sentra version and it works good, but it has a small mini fan underneath that gets really, really loud and aggravating for just no apparent reason. And these temperatures actually been fantastic. So I'm going to delete action on this whole cooler and I'm going to go with the uh, Scythe Big Shuriken 3. If you notice, I switched to fans and yeah, the Scythe Big Shuriken 3 actually runs a lot better and cooler for this. I thought I wasn't able to fill it in, but then after doing some measurings and then realizing uh, some mods that I already had did, I can make it work. So we're gonna go with this one. This is actually the Big Shuriken 3 is actually a better cooler for this. This ID cooling, don't get me wrong, gets the job done, but that one's gonna be quieter and it's definitely gonna cool a lot better. So we gotta take this out and that's great, along with removing the whole motherboard action. So I'm not gonna bore you with the whole process. I'll just bring you through the highlights. Got the scythe in, 32 gigs of 3600. It's the Corsair LPX. These price for $75, so why not go with it? But I think the sale ends today or something to that effect. I don't remember. But anyways, I got it mounted in here. And as you can see, Fractal Node 202, just got to take everything apart. Well, you know, I guess that's the trade-off with ITX. So let's get her put back in, fire her up, and do the other stuff I got to do to it. I don't know what it is about ITX computers, but it's such a bigger relief when they power on and they work. I mean, taking them apart could be aggravating. I mean, that's just something you deal with when you're dealing with these little small computers, but it's on, it's working. We have our 32 gigabytes of memory. We gotta set the memory frequency, so we'll turn on the DOCP. Nice and quiet, that little fan that the uh, ID cooling, which is right over here. This little guy is noisy. I would suggest either swapping it with um, a better quality fan that might help it. I think this is a 80 millimeter. Don't quote me 100% on that. And that might help it, but temperatures are good. It is warmer in the garage, so this is gonna read a lot higher, but 
39 of idle. It's been on for a few minutes. I'll have to do some core voltage adjustments and all that other stuff now that I have the proper memory in there. So we're good. So I picked this up at the whole Best Buy. It's like $30 clearance. It's the Microsoft. It's got Bluetooth. It's in white, which I'm not a fan of because it stains and gets dirty easy, but I guess I'll get the job done. And this is just primarily for the bedroom. And the biggest thing with take away from it is that, oops, batteries go, is I just need something to do the whole typing thing. I don't need nothing fancy for the whole gaming thing. That's why I use a Xbox controller for it. So we're just going to get this thing set up, sync it with the whole Bluetooth with this computer, and then, um, yeah, should be good to go. And this computer will be finished, done. And I probably shouldn't have to mess with it for a while. Now that the memory is situated and squared away, and the cooling is quieter. All right, so the final computer that I have, this is my test bench. The most used and abused, well, I wouldn't say used. If anything, I use my main one, of course, more so. But it's definitely abused. And when I say abuse, I mean the fact that if I need a part, I sacrifice this one. I do it with the drives, coolers, memory. I mean, just whatever I had, I've even sacrificed the power supply. But I guess this is probably the longest this iteration has stayed together. So this is the X299 platform. It's the 7800X, runs fantastic. And uh, I just recently put in a M.2. I had the mini one but decided to put the whole full size one on there just because, well, I got it pretty cheap. So just installed Windows, and what I need to do now is just get all my games on there for testing. I gotta do a test on this graphics card, probably do a dedicated video on this one. It's a 1650, pretty cool graphics card. Uh, the memory, that's one of the weak points on this is this memory is 2133. Need to put something a little faster in there as well. That one don't, that memory doesn't work too good. It's a little bit slow for what I need it for. I just kind of keep it, in a box right over here and I put a blanket over it because this computer stays in the garage and that has actually saved it from dust and all the other crusty components so let's grab my box of memory and CPUs yeah I'm, I try to be organized and let's find something that's gonna work I think I'm gonna go with this thermal take memory because number one it's really tall and it's kind of a pain to put in anything else this is the 16 gig that I just took out of the bedroom PC. So let's put that back in here. Some old memory, it's also DD4. But I keep a lot of different stuff. I got a bunch of different sizes. I got some DDR3, DDR2, regular DDR. Some more memory over here. So I think I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm just gonna go with this. It's 16 gigs, 3200, CL 16, 18, 18, 36. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's better than 2133, so let's get this out of here. Pop you in just like so. Which, I put it backwards, oops. There we go. Take this out. Maybe one day I would actually put this into a dedicated build. I'm actually looking to uh, get a different test rig just something not this and probably put this into a dedicated build this x299 platform is pretty good i know it's dating itself and starting to show its age and certain aspects but you know what i really like it it's the whole tough mark ii x299 didn't like the mark ii come for lincoln's or something like that anyways so that should be fine right there let's plug her up now in previous videos, I had talked about that I had a big issue with this computer and the fact that it just kept on giving me CPU error. Well, the other night, decided to do a BIOS update and that resolved all my issues. So if you have one of these motherboards that are acting wonky, a BIOS update might fix that. It would just boot up and it would just get stuck on CPU. So, but now we should be able to fire her up. Helps if I power this on. And we should be good to go. So now over here, I just keep these. So these are three PCIe connectors and that way if I have to test the graphics card I'm just ready to go and I also have the cables put away for SATA drive but the M.2 it's a 512 keep a couple of games in there and I mostly do it just to test memory and graphics cards you know with the RGB on this test bench I'm pretty sure it's gonna run really good 
But anyways, so now what I'm going ahead and do it is just putting in my games, Steam, Epic Games. Of course, I like to put in the whole Fortnite. We got that downloading because, well, that's kind of a standard I have to use when I'm selling these things. I also install Cyberpunk, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Heaven Benchmark, and a couple of other softwares and utilities that I'll use for it. And this thing should be good. So with the faster memory, BIOS up to date, I think this thing is ready to go. I'll probably just give her a quick dusting and a quick cleaning. And all my rigs are done. So now that's done, now it's time to tackle the task of cleaning this garage. I may vlog it, I may not. Um, if you're interested, comment down below. Maybe we'll do a whole thing of a tour of the garage, all my junk and stuff, and might be interested in that. But as you can see, I got a bunch of stuff up there I gotta deal with, stuff up there, and then in my attic. Yeah, I got a lot of things in the attic I gotta go through. Plus going through these drawers, I'm, I'm a little bit disorganized since I've been kinda out of this this past couple of months and then this box is just full of different graphics cards some old some newer ish and then yeah i really gotta start cleaning so that's gonna be the plan for it so i hope you enjoyed this video just figure i'd take you through the uh cleaning process maintenance upgrades and that's something that you you need to do Everybody knows this, our personal rigs, just like our personal cars, sometimes we neglect them more so because we're busy fixing everybody else's and kind of working on everybody else's stuff. So it's time for dusting, time for cleaning, some upgrades. Those are good to go as I need my stuff tip top shape. So if I could keep working on people's computers and keep bringing the content. So comment down below, let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticism, questions, um, suggestions. I've gotten a lot of good suggestions. Some people have uh, given me some great ideas about inventory, and uh, different things, probably investing in a UPS system for it. So when I'm doing these BIOS flashback. Um, so I definitely enjoy you guys' suggestions. I try to read them all. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. And as always, we'll see what we come up with next.